Hello everyone. We are going to understand what is info group and actions. So we will understand what is info group, what is personal action, which is nothing but the transaction code PA40, and what is action menu, which is nothing but the list of actions which you see under the PA40 transaction code. And the last one is what is info type menu? What is info type menu is nothing but the number of tabs which you see in the PA30 transaction. So let us go one by one. First, let's understand what is info group. An info group is a sequence of info types, meaning group of info types, which is called info group, meaning group of info types. So an info group is a sequence of info type. It is a sequence. Sequence means one after the other. So an info group is a sequence of info types which are executed one after the other when an action is run for an employee through the transaction code PA40. So this is info group. Info group can be created for hiring purpose, for termination purpose, for any purpose which is related to an action. So whenever I say personal action like hiring, basically info group is the backbone which is driving that personal action. So before we create any action, we have to create info group because info group contains that sequence of info types which has to come one after the other. Why do we need info group? Think of an example when you hire an employee into the company, you want that employee to be set up into the system and then you will basically enter his relevant information like when was he, uh, the date of hiring. Uh, yeah, what is his personal details, what is the address information, what is the employee's bank details and all this stuff. So you will need all those info types. So that is the reason why we have to define an info group which is nothing but the sequence of info types which comes one after the other so that the end user or the user who is setting that employee in the system can maintain that information. These info groups can be defined so that they are dependent on the user group. Don't get confused with info group and user group. User group is nothing but a group of users who have been given the similar permission. So I am blogging to a user group like X and you are blogging to a user group called Y. So might be you are permitted for the info group called termination. I am permitted for the info group called hiring. So if I am trying to perform an action which is relevant to the termination, then I cannot perform because that info group is assigned to your user group. So this is very important and in the big organizations, this user group is really, really important. So hope you understood what is info group and what is user group. Info group is a sequence of info types and user group is basically users belonging to that particular user group. So when I basically show you the practically how to create info group, it will be more easy for you to understand. Right now, since this is theory part, so you might be, you know, assuming what I'm talking about, but just pay attention to what I'm telling so that when I do the practical, it will be more clear to you. Okay. So what is info group? You know. Now, these are the steps to configure the info group. This is the configuration basically, which I will show you on the SAP system. So this is the navigation, like you go to this personal administration and then you go all the way down till you find the define info groups. So when you click on the clock, so these are the activities it will ask you to perform so that you can define the info group. When you define an info group, for example, I was talking about hiring. I This is the screenshot which, which shows you info group which has been created uh, for hiring purpose. So this hiring has a sequence of info types, so much of so many sequence of info types is coming. And also you must have been noticing here 
that this is dependent on the user group meaning these particular users if you see user group yes user group here which user group 0 1 all the users who belong to this user group 0 1 are able to access or are able to execute this info group so if you are not belonging to this user group called 0 1 you will not be able to perform any hiring relevant action or the in this info group in other words because you are not permitted so all those users who are listed in this particular user group only they will be able to execute this info group if i remove this checkbox here then it is independent anybody can use this inf info group but since this checkbox is activated it means whichever user group are defined here only those users who belongs to this user group will be able to process this info group or will be able to execute this info group that is the only simplest way I would say like this checkbox means these user groups are only permitted if I remove this checkbox any user even though he is not listed in this user group will be able to execute or can basically perform the you know any action I would say which is relevant to hiring so this is very important to understand uh, the info group purpose and the user group dependency uh, now the second thing is the personal action so now you understood what is info group what is user group it's very simple right info group was different user group is different info group was the sequence of info types now after you create info group what is the purpose of it you know like you have already you already said the system you told the system okay this is the sequence of info types for this info group but what are you doing with that info group nothing right because you you're not assigning that info group anywhere that is the reason why we have to create a personal action and then attach that info group to an action because that info group is the backbone for the action so i would say info group is behind the screen so nobody will see info group on the screen it is behind the screen who does the job and all the credits goes to personal action type everyone will see oh this is action oh it is it is it is uh, basically showing the info types one after the other no action is not showing it is basically the info group which is driving the action so that is the reason why we create an action so it says once the info group is created it can be assigned to the personal action which can then be executed for an employee through the transaction code pa40 which is nothing but personal actions and this is the navigation path to create your personal actions and this is the screenshot so when you go and configure the personal actions like if i go back so when you click on this particular uh, img node uh, when you click on this clock it will basically show you this screen in this screen you will set up your personal action the action can be anything it could be hiring action it could be termination it could be promotion any action is an action like which is basically relevant to an employee so when you create an action these are the four important things you have to make sure that you are entering the values properly the first one is the name of the action you have to give the name of the action and the number the second one is the functional character which is nothing but there are some values which sap has given so in this case the number one means initial hiring yes when you're hiring a person first time in the system it's the initial hiring so since it's an initial hiring you will enter the number one here then the third column is an employment status SAP has given a number called 3 if the employee is active. It makes sense because when you are hiring an employee, he is going to be an active employee in the company. So that is the reason why you have to enter the value 3. And there are some check boxes here. What is the purpose of this check box? I will tell you when I do practically. And then after this, the most important thing here is this column IG what is ig info group if i don't assign this info group number here this action doesn't have any meaning because it's just created what will it do nothing 
even if you go to PO40, even, even if you select this action, it will do nothing because this action does not know what info types to call because those info types are stored in the info group and if you do not attach this info group to the action, that this action does not have any existence in the system I would say there is no meaning of it. So, you have to assign the info group. So, now this is personal action. When I always tell personal action, keep in mind it is PA40 transaction code. Okay, PA40. Now, I have completed info group, I have completed action. What is action menu? Action menu, let us give an example. You go to a restaurant, you order for some uh, like dish, you say, okay, give me a menu. So, in the restaurant, the waiter will give you a menu. And then in that menu, you will see there are vegetarian, non-vegetarian and other dishes. So, that is a menu. Menu is the list of the categorization of the items, right? So, here action menu is the list of actions. You see here, all these are actions and this becomes the menu. Because if a user have to go to this particular transaction code, he will see what are the actions he is permitted to. So, that becomes the action menu for that particular user. Now, the most important thing here also is action menu is also dependent can, can be dependent on the user group. What does this mean? It means the same way how I define the info group. Meaning that you are belonging to a particular user group who will take care of the termination. So, when you go to the transaction code PA40, you might be only seeing a termination action. You might not be able to see hiring action because this action menu has been designed for your user group separately than my user group. And for my user group, if I am responsible for hiring a person, rehiring a person, some other actions, then those actions will be under my menu. Even though you are also using the transaction code PA40, I am also using the same transaction code PA40. The only difference is that you will only see those actions which are only permitted to you and I will see those actions which are permitted to me. So, this is action menu dependent on the user group. I hope it is be becoming very clear. So, what is the purpose of the user group? This is very important. User group plays a very important role in a big companies like if there are so many users and each user group has a different responsibility. So, that is that, that's where we basically uh, have to decide like which user group is assigned which particular menu. Similarly, action menu is the list of actions. Now, similarly to uh, action menu, we have uh, info type menu. When I talk about info type menu, keep in mind it is PA30, PA30. So, what is info type menu? Info type menu is these tabs. If you see this small tabs, basic personal data, if you see here, this payroll is one of the tab, benefits is one of the tab. These are the different tabs. Now, again, the most important question here is like, will all the users be able to see all the tabs? No, this is also dependent on the user group. For example, one of the user is only responsible to maintain the personal data. Then he will not be able to see the payroll relevant tabs because payroll is sensitive and you want to give access to this particular uh, payroll tab to only the users who run the payroll. So, even though everyone will log, uh, everyone will have the transaction code PA30, but you belong to like uh, a particular user group uh, who will basically uh, enter the basic information, then you will only see the basic personal data tab. Whereas, the users or the user group which is responsible for payroll they will be seeing the payroll, they will be seeing the payroll tab. So, in other words, I would say these menus and the info group are dependent, can be dependent on the user. I will always say can be, not always, because in some companies, they, they do not want to restrict based, based on the user group. They might say, okay, fine, everyone has an access. So, it does not, uh, it is not mandatory that every time you have to make it compulsory that uh, menus should be dependent on the user group. It is not compulsory, but it is very 
recommended from SAP like uh, you use a user group just so that the sensitive data is uh, basically not uh, accessible, by, accessible by anyone. So you don't uh, want to give the access to everyone so that is the reason why uh, user group plays very important role here. Okay.